So now on the health beat, a look at the heart scan. Yeah, believe it or not, it's not actually for everyone. So for Checkup 13 today, our Emma Turnin helps all of us sort out if we're a good candidate. Take a look. Because, you know, I haven't have any symptoms, no problems, no heart problems whatsoever. Chuck Robes from Westfield represents what doctors say is key. Someone with no symptoms of heart disease, but a significant risk factor, like family history. My dad died at 54 of a heart attack. So this is what the room looks like when you get a heart scan. It takes less than five minutes to move the patient into position and take a picture of their heart. The images then reveal hardened plaque or calcium in the heart. Each deposit is quantified and then added up to create a calcium score. And that score correlates with risk. Higher the score, the higher the risk for heart attack, stroke, or some kind of cardiovascular event. So the outcome data is quite strong. Chuck's score was 2100. It's a little bit sobering and not trying to be uh, dramatic, but a lot of these people just drop dead. They're perfectly, feel perfectly fine like Chuck, and they just have a cardiac arrest. Chuck went on to have triple bypass surgery, but keep in mind his case is extreme. More routine is a case like Dale Burkhardt. He also is symptom free, but had multiple risk factors for heart disease like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, weight, and family history. He signed up for the scan to get peace of mind, but learned he had a moderate level of plaque. An intervention like medication and lifestyle changes are in order. I'm not really surprised that. I was wishing it was better than this, frankly, but. Um, I think the, uh, the reality is very necessary. The heart scan is not recommended for patients like Jill Mabry. She had multiple heart symptoms, fatigue, exhaustion, shortness of breath. Patients with symptoms should skip the scan and see the doctor immediately. Her heart function was very weak, uh, less than 10%. Since you can sign up for the scan without a doctor's order, the provider's goal is to limit the exposure to low-risk patients. So if you're under the age of... 40 and you have no risk factors, you don't smoke, your cholesterol is fine, you don't have bad family history, blood pressure is normal, probably no huge utility to do it versus those people that do have risk factors and do have family history, they're going to get the most benefit for potentially doing this. We want to show you these are the many risk factors for heart disease. And if you have one or more of these risk factors and haven't already been diagnosed with heart disease, you may be someone who would qualify for a $49 heart scan. The scan is available at all of these locations around central Indiana. To qualify, patients must be 40 or older and not have had a scan in the last five years. To register, call the hotline before 7 o'clock. Also, you may sign up online at WTHR.com through midnight tonight.